Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. I haven't recorded in a couple days and I did all of this prep a few days ago and so I'm trying to figure out what I got all prepped and ready to go. So I'm just going to try to work my way through this, but I know I did decide that I'm going to do the covers. I'm going to do the inside and the outside covers today and then we can come back and do all of the added embellishments and add all of the inserts and things like that that we're missing after we've done the uh, covers. Oh, you hear my dog? I'm so sorry. She's like, Mama's talking. Why is Mama talking? <laughs> okay. Anyway, so this is the Swatchbook version 2. It's called My Sweet. This is the paper collection. So I call the album My Sweet, and I have a playlist for this album, beginning to end, start to finish, step by step. Uh, I will link it up here, and I'll put it down below in the description box if you would like to start at the beginning and work your way through. I'm almost 100% positive the first video is an intro video. I haven't made the playlist yet, but I'm probably, I'm pretty sure that the first video is the, <laughs> the introduction. This is the newest set of templates available in my Etsy shop have that link down below as well and um, I'm using the butterfly background out of the swatch book I printed oops I got a mess oh here comes my doggy <laughs> I printed two of page three and they were both printed onto the patterned paper so here's one of them this is going to be the inside uh, mats so it was like this so when I cut my paper down it was this one so here's you know the direction so it was like this It'd be easier for you guys to see so I took the top part off so I did it eight and a half and then eleven so I think I did that on both, yeah. So there's that one. And then I have cut them apart and I've inked them up just on the one side because these are mats for the inside of the cover. So there's that one. And then the second one is this one here. Oops, Let's see if I can't keep them. There we go. <laughs> And again, I took the top part off. So this is the other side of the top part. So I'm probably going to end up using this. I don't know. We'll see. So I took, again, eight and a half and then 11. So that's that. I've already got these cut out and I've got them inked up. So these are going to go on the front cover. And then a few other things that I've prepped and got ready to go. This is one of the labels uh, from the scrap journal. Let me show you that from the Basically Amazing Add-on Scrap Journal. And the This and That's template are these printable labels. So this is one of them. And what I did was, I did the little glue stick foil. You see that? Just a little bit, because this is gonna go on the spine. And then I traced the spine from the uh, Swatch Book version two. I traced this onto some of that coffee stained foiled paper that we made in the prep video so that's ready to go and that's going to be the spine and then over here this is one of the pieces from look I even made I even pulled this because we we used this paper in another page maybe use this butterfly on the cover so maybe I'll use that butterfly <laughs> but these are pieces cut off pieces that I'm going to use on the cover but this piece here was here uh, from this 12 by 12 sheet that we've been cutting on and that's what the other side looks like so this is we're going to be using this on the cover so I cut that out and we may end up using this but I think I've got one of those uh, already we'll see so I'm going to put this piece aside and then we have one more thing we need and that is in the prep video we had printed off page 116 of the scrap journal the add-on scrap journal i printed two of these pages off in the butterfly background and it's only on 28 pound paper so i've already uh, put one together i cut them both out put one together and i'm going to show you the other one on camera and that's all we need so i'm going to move that out of the way okay First thing though, I know that 
the, let's see. No, let's start with the inside covers. So I'm going to move the outside cover stuff away. And what we're going to do is we're going to mat the ends. We're going to put magnets. We're going to mat the inside. And then this is going to sit here. So it's going to be a removable interactive pocket, right? So again, I've already got this one put together and I used magnet savers on the inside there. So it's going to go like this. So we're going to do the same thing for the back side. So let's get that put together first and then we'll attach things down. I think that would be the, probably the best thing to do. So I'm going to grab my magnets. I have a whole resource list down below of magnets and these magnet savers. There's just little disc, little metal disc that magnets stick to. Um, I'll have that link down below. I have edited a little bit. I've taken a few links out, um, some that weren't good anymore and that kind of stuff. So there's also going to be timestamps down below if you want to skip around. So right now we're working on the inside cover. If you want to skip to the outside cover, you you know, feel free to do that if you need to. All right. So one of the things I needed to worry about on the front end, and I'll, I'll show you that. I'm going to grab, well, actually, let me just show you before we start the back. I had, obviously, this keeps sticking to here. So there's a magnet in here keeping this on here, right, and keeping this closed. So I needed to make sure that these magnets didn't push away from that. And this is sticking here, but once it has inserts and stuff in it, it won't stick to that anymore because there'll be several layers between the magnet saver and this magnet. So what I did was I took the magnet before I, I placed it down anywhere. I took the magnet and and made sure that it was going to stick versus push away. So we need to do that to the back side as well. Oops. Okay, so let me flip to the back here. I don't know why I just put that magnet away. I don't know. Actually, I said that. I don't know if there's a magnet back here. There may not be. Oh, well, maybe we don't have to worry about it. Well, look at there. Oh, no magnet back here. Okay, so we don't have to worry about it back here, which is perfect. So what we need is two magnets. And two magnet sabers. So I'm just going to grab a couple. These are a little bit bigger. Let me make sure. Where's my other one? Oh, and I also inked up the inside because when we close it, it's gonna you'll be able to see that. So I inked it up just a little bit. Okay, so basically we can put the magnets onto the cover, no problem. Just make sure that it's gonna be within this space here. And I think I'm just gonna use some tape. This is just quarter of an inch tape double-sided adhesive. Burnish that on. So then when we put this on here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to lay it on here the exact way that I want it, exactly where I want it before I close it. You have to excuse my voice. Every, it's, it's obviously spring. What is today? Today is May May 18th, and I've been out in the yard working a lot. And anyway, lots of pollen in the air. <laughs> okay. So, and my grandson still is not born yet. I think her actual due date is tomorrow. Bless her heart. Just bless her heart. I had my granddaughter yesterday. She stayed the night the night before. It was so, she's so cute. She's so she's so precious. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to move this around until it's right exactly where I want it. And then I'm going to open it up and then make sure. I'm just going to take tape. I'm just going to take some clear tape and I'm going to tape them down. This way, when you tape them down this way, your inserts Look, I reminded myself, add magnets. I think I probably knew I wasn't going to be able to come back to it for a couple days. Your inserts won't get stuck on there, so. 
Okay, so now I think I'm gonna glue it shut. And I'm gonna grab my fabric tack. And I'm gonna put, does, I think my hole is too tiny in the glue. I'm gonna have to make it a bigger hole, I think. I'm gonna put some glue here. And I'm gonna put some glue here. Whoa. Close that. Oops. Close that up. And then I'm gonna close this bottom piece. Okay. So now we can just go ahead and mat the front and back cover and it will be done except for inserts and embellishing the, um, the floating pocket. Okay, so I think what I'll do is, I could use Fabri-Tac, but I think I'm going to use Tape Runner just because, well, no, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. Because I really didn't glue these down except for the tape on top. So I want to make sure I get enough glue to keep these down. Move my magnets. But you can use tape runner tape if you want to. You don't have to use liquid glue, or you don't have to use tape runner at all. You can just use liquid glue. What I like about Fabri-Tac is it doesn't show through your paper like it doesn't. You won't see all those little swirlies. Um, and it gives you a little wiggle room too. You can wiggle things around and yeah. I'll make sure I get those magnets. So you can now put a photo here if you want to underneath the floating pocket. So one of the one of the things I like about it. Oops. Right, let me take this tape off. So I had done the same thing. You want to assume we're garbage boy, you guys? <laughs> I'd done the same thing to this this one as I did the back side. Except I did have to worry about the magnets. I didn't I thought I had to worry about the magnets on the front. I mean in the back. Um, like I did the front, but I didn't. So I apologize for that. I should have done it the other way around demonstrated on camera the hard side <laughs> but again that was a couple days ago and I, I don't remember what Jennifer was thinking a couple days ago <laughs> Jennifer has a hard time remembering what Jennifer is doing right now <laughs> okay and I'm gonna put this on here Yeah, that's why I have to leave myself little post-it notes with the ideas that I was thinking when I'm prepping. Because I, sometimes I could be gone for a couple days from filming and not remember. So, I'm glad I think about sometimes writing myself a little post-it note. Okay. Alright. So, that's that for now. I don't have any inserts prepared for that yet. Um... I kind of have an idea of how I want to embellish one of the envelopes, or the envelopes. These aren't envelopes. These floating pockets. But, for now, let's go to the outside cover. So, I'm going to open this up flat so we can see the whole... Do I have it flat? Oops. Nope. It's not even. <laughs> I'm going to open this up like this. Here we go. All right, let me pull in. Now I'm having like a sneezing attack. <laughs> just, ugh. let me pull, let's, you know what, let's just start with this fine, since I've got it all ready to go. I am not even sure what's happening, why I'm having a sneezy attack. I just checked on my gardens this morning, so it's not like I was out there fiddling about. That looks crooked, don't it? It's not like I was out there fiddling around with stuff. I don't know what's going on. I'm, again, I'm just going to use my little fabric tack since I got it sitting here, and why not? My tape runner is sitting close too, but I'm just going to use this for now. 
I should challenge myself one time to just only do an album with one type of adhesive. So anyway, I traced this out, inked it up and all that. Isn't it pretty? Um, just having the foiling on the coffee stained paper. So I printed, in the prep video we talked about this, but I printed the scripty paper onto coffee stained paper from my laser printer and then I foiled it with my mink machine. All of that is in that special Amazon list that I created. All the, all the stuff that I use is in that list if you want to check it out. Um, but it's fun to have. You don't have to have a mink machine. You could just use a laminator, but look how pretty that is. Wee! <laughs> I do want to use a wood sticker from the collection. I'm going to use this one here. And I'm going to leave the sticky on it this time. I didn't use the sticky last time, but my idea is... I think I might even add a butterfly around here somewhere. But I think I'm just going to stick it on here like this. Shoot. Let me do it like this. Do y'all like that distressed foiling? I love it. I think it looks... Okay. I think it looks fantastic. I was going to say I just need to commit. Oops. Let me see if I can get that. Oh, I need to. It needs to be a little bit more narrow. Okay. Now I'm going to glue that down. So yeah, this should have taken me like all of 10 seconds to, to match the spine, <laughs> but my allergies said otherwise, so thank you allergies, you're amazing. And then eventually we can come back and put like a little butterfly. I have some from the ephemera packs. I have a few, you know, we could do something like that. We'll see. I know I'm going to put a butterfly on the back, so maybe not. So one of these is going on the back cover. They're about the same, at least I think. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's just an all over pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this one down because the back cover we're not gonna do much to, but the front cover we're gonna, we're gonna um, shabby it up a little bit, vintage it up, distress it, whatever you wanna call it. I'm going to need to fussy cut that butterfly out that I want to use. Yeah, I kind of want to put it down here. So like in my prototype, that's kind of what I did. Let me remove it from... Except I didn't use this butterfly. I used a different one. Almost positive. Or, I might use this on the front cover. Let me see what butterflies I have. I have the fabric butterflies. I have these butterflies. I could, I could totally use, I have two of these, so I could use them both on the cover. On front, one front, one back. That would be fine too. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll do that. Okay. Well, anyway, while I fussy cut this out, I asked in my Facebook group, I had some ideas. This, so this is May's album of the month, and I had some ideas for June, July, and August album of the month. And I haven't said anything yet because I haven't announced what we're doing yet because I don't... It's hard to get supplies right now, and I know I'm not the only one. I mean, I have several... Don't get me wrong, I have, I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five different new paper collections. Um, but I'm also aware that a lot of people are having trouble getting paper, you know, getting the collections and stuff. So I asked in my Facebook group, I took a poll, 
uh, I gave them three options, said, would you like to do just a digital only for June, where it's a digital paper collection, um, and my digitals, of course, my digital stuff, and I think it's pretty much a guarantee that you're going to be using some of my digital stuff in my, <laughs> in my albums. Um, or did you want to use a paper collection, meaning the paper pad and the different embellishments and stuff that go along with, kind of like we did this album? Or do you want to just use the paper, um, paper pad only, obviously, along with my digitals or even other people's digitals? And right now, overwhelmingly you were only allowed to vote for one so it's not like you could vote for multiple but ropes I guess I didn't put that in the garbage I might need that so you were only allowed to vote for one so right now it's like 400 votes for um, digital only for June so but my thought was oh look how cute or maybe we could put it up here no let's put it down here so my thought now is let's do one let's do all three We'll do one, you know, in June, one in July, and one in August. So this is my thinking. And I think I know, well, I'm not 100% sure, actually. <laughs> the paper collection part, I'm not sure. I think I know. It's new to me. I've never played with this before, so I'll have to play with it a little bit. But the digital collection, I also think I know. Um... And then the paper only, I think I know. That's the only one I'm kind of waiting on right now to come. But anyway, we'll see. Hopefully I'll make a decision here real soon. Oh, I like that. I like that. So you could even put a picture here if you wanted. Like we have left over still from the things we printed. We could cut this out and put that on the back if we wanted to. Well. We glued that all the way down, but you could have if you wanted to. Okay, so there's that. Now I can go ahead and open or shut this back up and we'll just work on the front cover. And I'm just gonna do like a layered effect. I'm gonna have some of this on here. This is one of the large cutoff pieces and then we're gonna be using this and some butterflies. So, first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna roll these these corners here just to make it look like it's been around a while you know like it's been used picked up a hundred times and flipped through you could distress the edges if you want of the paper And I'm going to go this down. At some point, I will come back and ink the edges of this album, uh, the actual covers. Not yet. All right, so one thing's for sure. I think I'm gonna take this edge off that doesn't have any foil. And I also think I'm gonna go straight up like that. And I think I'm just going to do a layered thingy, so this is going to go on here, but I think I'm going to have to make this smaller, so I'm just going to cut straight up. And I'm also going to make this a tag, so I'm, now I'm going to take a minute and I'm just going to kind of make it look like it's an ode worn out document just by taking the a document 
just by taking some chunks out of the side document. I make stuff up all the time, you guys. I make words up all the time. It's funny. Or use words that don't have anything to do with anything. I do that a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. I even look at my, I even, I don't look at myself, but I make that face like, what are you, what are you saying? <laughs> you make no sense. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to ink this up. And I'm going to put a whole reinforcement. Let me do that before I forget. I think I'm gonna use the foiled green up here at the tippy top. Whoa, not there. Oh, I also wanna do a wax seal. Okay, I wanna do a wax seal as well. So put that there and punch through that. Whoops, I got a little crooked. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit of Baker's twine and I'm gonna do a wax seal on here. This is way too much Baker's twine. This stuff is thick. I don't know if it's just the brand. This is way thicker than what I had before. I don't need that much either. Oop. Let me grab my candle. Look, I've got little bits and stuff on here from the last time. So, I'm just going to do one. I'm going to do kind of a smallish one because I don't really need that much wax. I'm gonna use this little baby, this little baby um, rose one, and I'm gonna put it right here. Look, I didn't even pour it all out. Yep. Okay. So let's let that dry. And I'm going to be using some of this. I'm going to cut that the strip off of the top. I went ahead and I first cut this one, this one, and then look at this little teeny, 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 tiny one. <laughs> went ahead and first cut all of those. That little bitty one came from here, so it was one of these. So here's my little leftover pieces from that, right? Cute. Okay. I'm going to put these in my crafty tray. So I don't know which one I'm going to use. Or I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use two. Let me see if this, yeah, that's done. So there is the wax seal. Right? Look how cute. Move this out of the way. So I'm going to do a layered thingy. But I think... I am going to tear this at the top because I'm going to do something like this and then I'm going to tear it down here at the bottom. 
Oh, that's too much. That's probably too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tear it again. That might even still be too much. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay. And then I also think I'm going to cut it down just a little bit on the sides for proportion. Plus, I want to be able to see more of that. Not that it matters which side I take it from. Yeah, I just want to have some color. So now I'm going to take and do the the notching. And I'm going to tear this top. I might have to get, this may not be big enough, so I might have to get, well, I might have to get another page. I'm not liking the way that's tearing either. I'm going to bend this and tear it. I want it a little bit neater on the top. Yeah. Something like that. And then the butterflies and whatnot. I'm gonna row this. But I do think I'm gonna pop these two up on. Um, well, I'm going to ink them up first. This is the scrapbook.com foam tape, and I swear, <laughs> this thing falls out of my shelf all the time. I'm pretty sure it might be possessed. <laughs> it falls down all the time. Okay. And I'm like, I hear it downstairs, and I'm like, what was that? What was that noise? All right, I'm going to get a bigger. And this is one inch, I think. And I think the reason I've got one inch is that was all they had at the time. So. I'm going to pop this up. Oops, don't go too far. Put some in between here. Alright, so I've got this. I'm going to roll the corners on this a little bit.
So I'm gonna put that there, but then I'm also gonna pop this one up, so. So anyway, <laughs> I will link their tape section down below. So this is gonna go here. Or should I go like this? And then this is gonna go here. And then butterflies, we're gonna have some butterflies. So here's the big one. I guess I could put it on the cover. I know you're not going to be able to help me um, decide, but I'm going to show you. So we could do a big one. It covers up an awful lot of that. We can do this one. And then we've got these little smaller ones. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. So, let's remove the tape backing on the foam tape. A little better. I need to dump my little garbage bowl out. Whoops, let me do this other one first. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in my brain today. Very discombobulated. So that's gonna be like right there and then this is gonna be up here. Whoa. And then this one is going to be over here. And then let's glue this down. Let's just commit to it. This is happening. Butterflies down with a big old glob of fiber attack. That didn't work. Why isn't that working? Maybe it needs to be down here. There, that looks good. I like the way that looks. Right, doesn't that look sweet? 
now should we put, oh, let me get my scissors out. Should we put this little bitty butterfly, should we put it somewhere? Like there? Or up here? Or right there? It's just too cute. Probably not. We're probably not going to put this on here, but it's so cute. Okay. I just think it's adorable. Okay, we'll have to put that somewhere else. Okay, you guys. I think that's all we're going to do in this video. We're just going to stop there. We're just going to the front covers, the front, the back, the spine, and the inside covers are now matted. We just need to, oh, look, I still, I need to do some tags. So we, we will do tags and final embellishing in the next video. And maybe it'll probably be the last video. So it'll be the tags, final embellishing, and final flip through of this album. All right, you guys, do let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Sorry this video was a little discombobulated. Um, I will get myself together here soon, I promise. And uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the way these covers turned out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or make sure you're subscribed to my channel and turn on that bell notification so you get notified when I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.